Going into the conference room, she calls up computers' records on the Illyrian genetic modifications, specifically pertaining to disease control. She then specifies any records pertaining to the original Illyrian settlement on Volterra Nebula. So, this part is a little weird in light of later revelations. I'm not sure why she wants to look at records on those genetic modifications, because she already knows about them. Well, maybe maybe she doesn't know about them. Maybe she just knows someone who has them. <laughs> you know? It's like That's fair. It's like I I know my car keys work, but I don't understand how to build an engine. <laughs> you know. That's fair. Yeah. So while she's doing that, Lan enters cuz she had been called in. Una informs her about the potential contamination brought it from the surface and tells her to have security on the lookout for strange behavior. Lon sees the computer screen's information about the Illyrians, wondering if there was something, if they were somehow involved. Una tells her she's not sure, she's just doing research. Lon thinks the Illyrian history is one of the reasons why the Federation is wary of genetically modified species. Una thinks that if the Illyrians were behind the problem, they could also provide the solution. But Illyrian medical technology was banned by Federation regulations because of the eugenics wars. And here is the man himself getting mentioned. (laughs) Una knows Laan is all too familiar with that time period. The security chief is a descendant of Khan, Nuni, and Singh. And Laan admits that one could not have a bioengineered mass murderer for an ancestor without growing a thick skin. She studied Khan extensively as a child and thought the worst of it would be being bullied by other children. Laan suddenly expresses similar symptoms to the landing party, saying the room was too dark. Una immediately calls him Binga. So, Khan is a known person here. Yeah. And if we flash back to Space Seed, everybody's a little little unsure about him there. Now, Spock didn't know anything about him, which I find interesting. I don't know if this is going to be some kind of soft, some soft papering over of history. You know, like we kind of just don't, don't worry about that. I mean, it has to be. Or is this something that Spock, since he was raised on Vulcan, really doesn't know a lot about? And he and Laan don't like hang out and talk, so he didn't get like any of this info from her. They have already kind of ran past that. I don't think um, they're doing much uh, tiptoeing around it oh. right now. 